Hi and welcome back to Noise Toys Imports TV. My name's Ben. Today we're going to look at the Hot Tone Audio Ampero. I'm going to go through the basics of the interface um, and how to build a patch from scratch. So starting out, let's check our guitars in tune. We've got a tuner on foot switch 3. We hold that down. We go into tuner mode. Lovely. And then we can press foot switch 3 or the other ones, any button really to get you back out of the tuner. And here we are. Now, this knob here, the menu value knob, we can use this to scroll through presets or if we press it, you can move it around to choose which one of the blocks you want to access. But everything is also accessible via the touch screen. So we can just tap any one of these blocks and go into it. The first block here is control and expression. If we go into that one, it's got current settings for the patch that we're currently on. So it'll show you everything to do with the current preset that you're on. The next setting is quick access knobs, which is assigning what you want these three to do. They have a default per patch. Then we've got control settings and control settings lets you set what this foot switch does. And then we've got expression one settings, which is this expression pedal and expression two settings, which can be plugged in here as a second expression pedal. Also, it's important to note, if you've made changes, don't forget to save rather than backing out. Next up, we've got the drum machine. In the drum machine, there are a lot of different styles to go through. You can try out a lot of different things. Big play button in the middle, set your tempo here and overall volume here. I've backed it off a bit because it is pretty loud. And that's cool. You can engage that um, to use with the looper. Next up, we've got global controls, ins and outs. We have the USB audio. So if you're recording into your door, you can set whether or not it records with effects or dry. Foot switch assigning, MIDI channel assigning, firmware version information, and a factory reset button, which we're not gonna press. And the last block we have is the edit block. But before we do that, I'll just show you if we press these two together, three in control, we go into looper mode. And in looper mode, you can do all sorts of things like reverse, half speed. There's also a button there to bring the drums in and out. You can put the loop pre and post, adjust the record level and adjust the loop level as well uh, for playback. We'll get into that later though. In the edit patch, we have all of the effects blocks for this patch. I've turned them all off, named it blank, and that sounds like this. Let's just enter in and add an amp first to start with. So we tap the amp block, and then we go into edit. Now there are a whole bunch of amp sounds we can choose from in here. I'm going to choose the black twin and turn that on. That's just our basic amp sound there. We've got no cab simulation on. Now, if we press left or right, we'll go through the other blocks. Here's the cab, cab's off. Let's choose something that's suitable so we can go, um, the, let's go for the Black Lux 1x12. Here's with it off. And here's with it on. Feeling really natural. Now let's go back through to effects block one at the beginning. Now it's important to note that the three effects blocks that you can assign sounds to have all of the sounds available in each one of them. So in this one, let's just start out with the compressor um, and I'll turn that on. So that's got plenty of sustain happening. Now effects block two, in this block, let's chuck in some sort of drive.
Zen Garden. Now this is going to be a copy of the Hamida um, Zen Drive. So I'll turn that on. The amp block we've already done, noise gate. Let's engage the noise gate. And there we go. We might just chuck on the smart gate and see what that's like. That's cool, it doesn't cut the sustain of the compressor or anything. Next over, cab we've already done. Next up is EQ. There's a couple of different guitar EQs, a power EQ, some bass EQs, and a graphic EQ. Let's bring up the graphic EQ. And when you see this little arrow here, there's extra parameters for you to scroll across and find. So let's just, for the sake of time, we'll just engage this one the way that it is. Next up is effects block three. And in this one, I'm going to put my favorite chorus sound they have, which is the Liquid C. And this is a clone of the DC2. And I really like it in mode three. So I'm going to put that on. I'm going to turn that on. Awesome. After effects block three is the delay. Now I've already pre-selected this one before, it's just not turned on. This is the multi-head delay, which is copying like the Benson Echo X sort of style of thing. Um, you have mix, feedback, time, and tapping across, you've got tone and mode. Mode goes through engaging different combinations of the playback heads. This is my favorite. And then trails on and off. I think trails on is always a good thing. Turn that one on. Now that's a little bit fast for what I want, so I'm going to go back here and make sure sync is engaged. So sync is on. And now I can hold down control. When the LED ring starts blinking blue, you're in tap tempo. There we go, that's cool. We'll leave that. Now next block over is the reverb block. And Izumi is one of my favorites in here. So let's make sure there's a healthy dose of that going on. We're going to engage trails as well. Turn it on. And that's the last one. So we'll go back. You can see each one of the blocks is highlighted with the color saying that we've added something and turned on the effect. Now we want to save that preset. Press save up in the top corner. Okay, this is where we make a name for our preset. The quick access knobs here control the cursor. The type of character you're doing, so numbers, caps, lowercase, and symbols, which has space in it as well. Go back to caps and then the character. And then press save. There we go, it's as easy as that. Please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if there's something you would like me to cover in one of the next videos. And as always, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram. Just search for Noise Toys Imports. Thanks and we'll see you soon.